The first thing we want to do is search for Windows Media Creation .bat. And the first thing we will see is that e -A -V -E -O. So we need to hit code and download the zip. Then go to that file location. I've already extracted it, so I'm going to delete the two zip files. Next, go inside the folder and go to bypass 11. And we're going to be using this quick 11 ISO ESD uh, .bat file, which will remove all the checks from the ISO that I've downloaded from Microsoft Windows website. First step is to run the quick 11 uh, ISO .bat file. Right click on the ISO file and go send to and quick 11 ISO, which will be added in the previous step. This will remove all the TPM patches and all the checks. And now you can try to run the setup and see if it will work for you. For me, it did not work even though I'm on fully um, activated Windows purchase license. It's a digital license. It did not go. It will check for updates and then it asks me for um, product key, which I don't have. It's a digital license, so I don't have a product key to type in. So what I did is I will close this window setup. I'll copy the, the ISO file that I've already patched outside of the virtual machine, attach it as a, attach it as a, a, a virtual CD drive and mount it through that. And then you'll see uh, in a second what will happen. There you go, it mounted. So now when I run the setup, uh, right now the virtual machine sees it as a real DVD uh, drive. That ISO file is now a real DVD uh, drive for the virtual machine. And now all the checks, all the things will go through. And uh, I'll just speed up through the process. Uh, the Windows 22H2 will install properly and update my current 21H2 uh, version of Windows 11. Here you just click next and then from this point on you're just waiting for the installation to finish. I'll just quickly uh, speed up all the process. Um, yeah, it, it rebooted once on my machine so once it boots it will do the proper regular Windows uh, configurations before you see the desktop. On a regular Windows machine, not a virtual machine, on a regular Windows machine, you might want to burn the ISO file to a DVD and, and try it that way or uh, create a USB drive. And there you go, it finished and it's 22H2 updated, working nice. I had to do a couple of updates but license is activated. So if you like, please subscribe.